The power of the first impression why introductions matter. Think about a time you met someone new. Maybe it was at a social event, a business meeting, or even a casual encounter at a coffee shop. What were your first impressions? Did you feel an instant connection or were you left feeling indifferent? Did their introduction make you want to learn more about them or did it leave you wanting to end the conversation quickly? In writing, introductions are just as important as they are in real life interactions. They set the tone for what's to come. They are your chance to grab the reader's attention, to spark their curiosity, and make them eager to read on. A compelling introduction can make the difference between a reader who is fully engaged and one who quickly loses interest. On the other hand, a weak introduction can lose your reader before they even begin. It can make your hard work go unnoticed. Why spend hours crafting the perfect story, article, or essay if no one reads past the first few sentences? Your introduction is the gateway to your content. Think of your introduction as your handshake with the reader. It's your first opportunity to make a lasting impression. A strong, confident introduction can set the stage for a memorable experience, making the reader feel welcomed and intrigued. Ready to learn how to write introductions that captivate and engage? Let's dive in and explore the techniques that will make your writing stand out. Setting the stage how intros shape reader, expectations. Imagine walking into a theater. The lights are dim, the curtain is closed, and a hush falls over the audience. What are they expecting? They anticipate the curtain rising, the story unfolding, and a world coming to life. Your introduction is that moment of anticipation for your readers. It sets the stage for what's to come, hinting at the themes, tone, and style of your writing. A well-crafted introduction aligns the reader's expectations with your writing's purpose. But how do you create an introduction that effectively sets the stage? Let's explore the power of questions in the next section. Engaging your audience. The art of asking the right questions. Questions are powerful tools in writing. They spark curiosity, encourage reflection, and invite the reader to actively participate in the conversation. Think about a time someone asked you a thought-provoking question. Didn't it make you pause and consider the answer? That's the power you want to harness in your introductions. By posing questions relevant to your topic, you immediately engage the reader's mind and make them eager to uncover the answers within your writing. Ready to discover the answers and learn how to seamlessly transition from questions to insightful content? Let's move on to the next section. Unveiling the answers transitioning smoothly into new sections. You've posed intriguing questions. Now it's time to deliver the answers. This transition is crucial for maintaining reader engagement and establishing your credibility. Think of it as a satisfying click when two puzzle pieces fit perfectly. Your answers should flow naturally from the questions, creating a sense of coherence and purpose. But how do you introduce different sections within your writing, each with its unique focus and style? Let's delve into the world of introductions tailored for various sections. Section 5. A world of introductions, exploring different types for various sections. In this chapter, we will delve into the art of crafting introductions, a crucial element that sets the tone for the rest of your writing. Not all introductions are created equal. Each type of introduction serves a unique purpose and can significantly impact how your audience perceives your message. Just as a toolbox contains a variety of tools for different tasks, writers have a range of intro styles at their disposal. Whether you're writing a novel, an academic paper or a business report, the introduction is your first chance to engage your reader. For example, an introduction to a personal anecdote might begin with a vivid description, painting a picture in the reader's mind. This approach draws the reader in by appealing to their senses and emotions. In contrast, a section presenting factual information might start with a concise statement of the main point. This method is direct and to the point, providing the reader with a clear understanding of what to expect. Understanding the nuances of different intro types empowers you to choose the most effective approach for each section of your writing. By mastering various introduction styles, you can tailor your opening to suit the content and purpose of your work. Ready to learn practical tips for crafting captivating introductions? We'll explore techniques that can help you hook your readers from the very first sentence. Let's move on to the next section, where we'll dive deeper into specific strategies and examples to enhance your writing skills. Stay tuned for more insights and tips. As Section 6, Crafting Captivating Openings, Practical Tips for Writing Intros. 
Writing a good introduction is both an art and a science. It requires creativity to capture attention and clarity to set the stage for your writing. Start by identifying the key message or emotion you want to convey in that section. Then, brainstorm different ways to introduce it, experimenting with various sentence structures and literary devices. Remember, a strong introduction should be concise, engaging, and relevant to the content that follows. Now let's explore the art of the hook, that irresistible element that draws readers in from the very first sentence. Section 7. The art of the hook grabbing attention from the get-go. Think of a fisherman casting a line. The hook is what entices the fish to bite. Similarly, your introduction needs a hook, something that grabs the reader's attention and makes them want to read on. This hook could be a provocative question, a surprising statistic, a relatable anecdote, or a bold statement. The goal is to pique the reader's curiosity and make them invested in your words. But how do you ensure your hook feels authentic and reflects your unique voice? Let's explore that in the next section. Section 8. Establishing your voice. Letting your personality shine through. Your writing voice is what sets you apart from every other writer. It's the unique fingerprint of your creativity. It's your unique perspective, your tone, your style, the essence of you on the page. This is what makes your writing memorable and impactful. Your introductions are prime real estate to establish your voice and connect with your reader on a personal level. A strong, engaging introduction can captivate your audience from the very first sentence. Don't be afraid to let your personality shine through, whether it's through humor, wit, vulnerability, or passion. These elements make your writing relatable and human. Remember, people connect with people. Authenticity in your writing builds trust and rapport with your readers. Let your authentic self shine through your writing, and your readers will be drawn to your unique voice. They will feel a connection to you, as if they are having a conversation with a friend. Now, let's discuss how to maintain cohesion between your captivating introductions and the rest of your writing. Ensuring that your voice remains consistent throughout your work is key to keeping your readers engaged and invested in your story. Consistency in tone and style helps to create a seamless reading experience. It allows your readers to stay immersed in your narrative without being jolted out by sudden shifts in voice. Practice and self-awareness are crucial in developing and maintaining your writing voice. Reflect on your writing regularly and seek feedback from others to refine your unique style. Embrace your individuality and let it flow through your words. Your readers will appreciate the genuine connection and the distinct voice that only you can offer. Section 9. From intro to conclusion, maintaining cohesion throughout your writing. While introductions are crucial, they're just one piece of the puzzle. Your entire piece should flow seamlessly from beginning to end, with each section building upon the last. Think of your writing as a symphony. The introduction sets the tone, the body paragraphs develop the melody, and the conclusion provides a satisfying resolution. By ensuring your introductions align with the overall message and tone of your writing, you create a cohesive and enjoyable reading experience. But how do you hone these skills and become a master of introductions? Let's move on to the next section. Section 10. Practice makes perfect honing your intro writing skills. Like any skill, writing captivating introductions takes practice. The more you write, the better you'll become at crafting openings that hook your reader and set the stage for your writing. Challenge yourself to write different types of introductions for various topics. Experiment with different hooks, tones, and styles. Seek feedback from fellow writers and editors. Remember, the path to mastery is paved with consistent effort and a willingness to learn and grow. Ready to embark on your writing journey? Let's conclude with a call to action. Section 11. Your writing journey begins. A call to action. You now have the knowledge and tools to write introductions that captivate, engage, and leave a lasting impression on your readers. 